Hey guys, it's Angel. Welcome back to my kitchen. If you're craving Chinese food takeout these days and you're looking for a healthier alternative, my beef and broccoli recipe is the recipe for you. It's super easy. I can usually make this in under 30 to 45 minutes. Plus you can control the quality of the ingredients so that way you can have fresh broccoli and tender slices of beef. But before we jump into this recipe, for more videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Angel Wong's Kitchen, and hit that subscribe and notification bell so that way you guys know when my next video is out. And with that, let's get started. Here are the ingredients that we'll be needing for today, but I'll also be posting them in the video description if you guys want a printable recipe as well. For this recipe, you'll need about half a pound of beef. I'm using a boneless New York strip steak today, but you can always opt for a flank steak or another cut of beef. With my knife, I'm just gonna slice the beef into quarter inch thick pieces. And then as you notice, there's some fat on the sides of the beef. You can feel free to trim that away, or as my grandpa would say, keep it on there and give that slice to me. But there's definitely something to be said about the marbling in the beef. Now that we've got the beef sliced up, I'm gonna go ahead and put the beef into a small bowl so we can start the marination process. For the ingredients for the marinade, we're going to need one teaspoon of light soy sauce, two tablespoons of water, we'll also need one teaspoon of rice wine, and guys, if you don't have rice wine, totally okay, you can go ahead and substitute that with water. Two teaspoons of cornstarch, and cornstarch helps with velveting the beef, making it more tender. And we'll also need one teaspoon of each of garlic and ginger. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a shortcut by using these ready to use jars of garlic and ginger. Okay, so for this recipe, for the marinade, we're gonna need one teaspoon of light soy sauce, two teaspoons of water, one teaspoon of rice wine, and guys, if you don't have rice wine, that's totally okay. You can substitute that with water two teaspoons of cornstarch, and this will just protect when marinating the meat. You can go ahead and eyeball it here. Doesn't have to be exact. And then one teaspoon each of garlic and minced ginger. And to marinate that all together and mix that in, I'm just gonna go dig in with my hands and just give it a good mix. And once we're done mixing the beef, go ahead and put this bowl aside while we prepare the sauce. So now we're gonna make the sauce. I've got a small bowl here, and it's most of the same ingredients, except we're adding some oyster sauce, sesame oil, and a little bit of sugar. I've got one tablespoon of soy sauce, and I'm using light soy sauce here. One tablespoon of oyster sauce, We'll also need one tablespoon of rice wine, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of cornstarch, and a splash or two of sesame oil. I love sesame oil, it smells so good. Now we're just gonna give it a good mix and make sure the cornstarch is fully dissolved. Now for the vegetable, traditionally broccoli is used, but today I'm using broccolini. I got some nice organic broccolini from the store, but I really like using broccolini because I feel like it's a bit more tender, which pairs well with the tender beef. So I've washed and rinsed my broccolini. I'm just going to trim off and discard the end of the stems. So once you've discarded the ends of the broccolini, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest into two to three inch pieces. And now we're ready to cook. Now we're gonna stir fry the broccolini first and today I am using my wok. All right, so I have the wok on a high heat. I'm then gonna add in a couple tablespoons of oil, toss in my broccolini, then I'm going to add half a cup of water, and this will just help the broccolini cook. If you're using a wok, this will take about two to three minutes for the broccolini stems to fully cook. 
And here you can always feel free to taste test to make sure it's done. So the broccolini is pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and just transfer it to a dish and set aside and then we'll go ahead and cook our beef. Now we're gonna get ready to cook the beef. I'm using the same pan. We're going to add two to three tablespoons of oil. And I've got the pan on high heat here. And once we add our beef, here's the huge tip. You put the beef in and you let the beef sear on one side. Let it sear completely so it has a nice brown coating on it before flipping and stir frying. Because when you do that, the beef will have a nice press to it and it'll also be easier to release from the pan. Using the same wok, adding a few tablespoons of oil. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my beef. When you add your beef in, make sure to do it in a single layer and let your beef sear on one side first. Now we can go ahead and add our broccolini and then our sauce. Now I'm going to give that a stir and mix it in. And as you can see, the cornstarch has already started to thicken. Once the sauce is thickened, go ahead and turn off the heat and transfer to a serving dish. Now I'm just going to transfer this beef and broccoli to a serving dish. Wow, that smells so good, guys. And finally, I'm gonna top it off with some green onions for garnish. And feel free to use some sesame seeds if you have them as well. So that's how you make my Chinese beef and broccoli stir fry. The kitchen smells amazing. It looks really good. I'm gonna serve mine with a bowl of white rice, but if you're counting carbs, you can also do cauliflower rice as well. So let's go ahead and dig in. I'm going to get a little bit of broccoli and a nice slice of beef. Wow, the beef was so tender and the flavors of the sauce and the broccolini, it was just really, really perfect. I highly recommend you try this recipe, guys. Once you make this, you guys will be going to the store and grabbing steak and broccolini because this meal will just be so great to have in your weeknight recipe rotation. I'm Angel, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you do happen to try this recipe at home and you use broccolini, let me know how you liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.